Today we're going to make this Wicked Cool Magazine collage using super simple supplies and there's a hidden tuck. Okay, so I got a challenge from one of the gals who watches the videos and you can email me, Tara, at Marketing Art Flea if you want to give me a challenge. Um, but these are the supplies she has. She has magazines, scrapbook paper, squares, calendar pages, stickers, fronts of cards. Oh, I think she means fronts of playing cards. I got some playing cards, right? She's got copper wire yarn, acrylic paint, matte mod podge, gesso, glue sticks, tacky glue, frames, glass jars, wooden boxes, cardboard boxes, and then she's got a bunch of different microns and pens and things like that. So what we're going to do today is this is a little piece of the neutral background. This is some tissue paper. She said she has tissue paper. You might have a little napkin. We're going to make stuff with things you have. This is an old piece of a scrapbook page. This is a card that I got. Old scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, envelope, two playing cards. We're going to use acrylic paint and I'm going to grab a... Doo -doo -doo. She said she had some six by six paper. So we're going to pick a six by six. I don't know if this is six by six, but I want one that is pretty plain, right? Oh, and she has, oh, and she has washi tape. So we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna take this little piece of paper, we're gonna do stuff to it and make it look cute with just acrylic paint, the stuff we have, and then um, see what we can do, that's fun. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do that I thought would be fun would be to stick an envelope on here. And I like little hidden places and tuck spots and things like that. So I think as a mixed media thing, this would be fun. Now I do think it's too big. Like if I was going to make this a little pull out tag, I would want it to be maybe about half this size. So let's cut this in half. And it doesn't matter if our tag fits because if it doesn't, you know, we'll just cut it down, right? So, boop, boop, boop. All right. And you may be thinking, well, she didn't cut that very straight, but it doesn't matter because because we are going to be gluing this down, right? Okay, so. So she says she has a, her name's Melanie. I like her very much. Um, okay, so let's do the glue stick on the one side. So this is the back of the envelope. I like this challenge. And I use a Yoohoo glue stick. I have some Elmer's glue sticks too. So let's get as much of this put down as we can. We're just gonna put this over here. And the reason why I wanna put it on now is because I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of other things and I don't want to take like a random thing and put it on here and then be like, oh my gosh, it looks terrible now. In fact, I might even, oh, we should do that. Okay, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna cut our envelope. Now, obviously, I could have thought this through a little bit, but this is how art works, right? So I'm gonna cut this down. Let's make sure this fits. Oh, that fits. Okay, and this goes to right here. And if it got a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, that'd be fine. All right, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, so now I need to re-glue. I always feel like these Yoohoo's are backwards. So now we're gonna re-glue this back part. And you wanna really get it stuck down, right? Like, I feel like with glue stick, you kind of have to get it stuck down. Now there's a jaggedy edge on there. If you don't like jaggedy edges, then 
Then on yours, stick it down. I, I don't mind jaggedy edges. Okay. We're gonna stick this down and we're gonna have that edge match that edge. Okay. So we have, this is called a tuck spot. As we are right now, it's a tuck spot because you could tuck something in here, right? If we wanted it to be a, like, we could, there's a bunch of things we could do, right? We could put washi tape down the side and make it not a tuck spot, but I like to leave my options open at this stage. I love that now we have something that's a little bit more, um, less white sticking on the edge and still within our little challenge of things we're gonna do. I also have these cards, which I really love. Ooh, maybe I'll maybe I'll use the top of that for something. So if we're going to use that, oh, you know what else we have? This piece of paper, and I think I'm going to take my colors out of here. So I'm going to go with. Oh, there's a cute little bird. Okay, I'm going to go with my colors: teal and pink, turquoise and pink and maybe a little bit of orange. That's the colors that, ooh, and look, we have that light turquoise. Okay, so let's, do we wanna put that on first? Yes, because this time we're not gonna use anything but acrylic paint. So let's grab a pink, let's grab a turquoise. Okay, so we're doing pink, turquoise, and orange. Sweet. And now I don't, I don't want this to be. Um, like cover this entirely. So you can just do some background marks, right? So I'm just putting some background bits in here just to get a little color, right? Okay. And I like straight lines more than I like round things in my background. Now I do a lot of mark making where I have some circles, but in general, I tend to like straighties more than I like circles in my backgrounds. Okay, maybe do a little extra here. Don't wanna cover everything. We'll anchor this corner, we'll anchor this corner with the green. All right, so that looks great. Now let's get a little orange. We should probably let this dry or use a different paintbrush so we don't wind up with mud. And I'm just gonna put a little touch of orange here and there. just kind of at the intersections of the green. All right, that one, Ooh, two lines, yay. Two lines is a happy accident. So let's do another line here and then we have two lines there. See, now we're starting to see, okay, so then I have this here. I'll probably do that up here with my last little bit of orange. Maybe I can grab a little bit here. I don't need it to be perfect. Okay, so that's making a nice, um, like, outline of that, right? Okay. And I don't have my dippy cup today, so. All right, so now we're going to take our tissue paper. And I do kind of like that flower there. So we're going to kind of come around that flower and the bird. Uh-oh. Oh, it's taped. That's okay. All right. So, let's see. Can we get... Let's just do this. 
And if you wanted to um, be more careful about tearing out, you can just take a wet paintbrush and tear out and that will let you outline it and do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna kind of do this and we're gonna grab our Mod Podge. So I have Mod Podge. And we're gonna decoupage this. And don't forget, we're still just doing the background. We are way far away from doing anything exciting at this point. We're just trying to get some color down, some pattern. Don't get attached to anything at this point. Don't get nervous if your stuff moves. It's okay. It's really okay. All right, so let's see. Okay, there we go. All right. So if you use a light colored tissue paper, a lot of times it's going, and you put a lot of Mod Podge on it, okay? So you wanna really soak this in. It will kind of get translucent under there. Don't forget, we can use a knife and cut that open. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, it'll kind of get translucent and let us see a little bit of that um, pattern of the scrapbook paper under there. All right, nice. Okay, so that's good. That's cute. How did I wind up with just like a blob of green stuff there? Okay, so that's cute. Let's get a little bit more of this on here. I kind of like these circles. have that come up here. So it's really good to do things in odd numbers. So I wouldn't do two things on, of tissue paper. I would do three things of tissue paper. Now you can do as many things of tissue paper as you like. That's from what I understand from my father-in-law who is an artist. That is a rule, but I sometimes break it. Okay, so let's do this, and let's do one more little piece up here somewhere. Look, we got this gnarly looking, I like gnarly looking. Oh yeah, Ooh, that'll kind of go right in there, won't it? All right. And then, dear friends, I will have to let you go, because this will take a wee minute to dry in Florida but that's okay. All right, and then I am gonna go over the whole thing with the Mod Podge, just because um, that, uh, first off, I'm getting a, a, a consistent background to work on whatever we do next, and that scrapbook paper, like the nice scrapbook ladies aren't intended to use the scrapbook paper to put coats and coats of paint on or to put coats of, of Mod Podge or anything like that. They intended to do it to um, uh, uh, like nice card ladies, right? To keep everything clean and dry, but we're not gonna do that. We are gonna play and we are gonna make a mess and that is fine. So I'll be back. Okay, so here I'm looking at some of the images that I got to work with on this magazine collage. This little cat underneath the rug, and then this cat head, which is awesome. We're going to see that later. Um, the white sweater body of the lady, I think, will go really well. I just want to make sure that the, the dimensions and the perspective is going to be the right size. Um... So that's important. I thought maybe I would put those glasses on the cat. I'm gonna use the we're all in it together and maybe these bottles. I know sometimes it's fun to watch cutting up the stuff, so I will speed this up, but you can see how I cut out the different pieces of the collage material.
Okay, so now we have our pieces, right? And I'm going to put down the cat. Okay, and I want this to be, well, first I'm going to fix my tuck spot. And we may reconsider, because remember it's over here. It's hiding and I glued it last night. Okay, there's that part. Can we scooch this out with this? Oh, there we go. That worked good. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have our tuck spot hidden in there. Now, do we want to, because we can put this any which way we want. So we had originally thought we would do it this way. And I think if we do it this way, that we might need to have our cat over here. And we got our little crusty critter. But then I feel like everything is over here. So I kind of want it to be over here. I want this guy to be over here. And then we can put our words over here, right? And then we'll just have to cut this little thing open again if we need to. Or we could have it come out this way. Let's think that one through. All right, how about if we have a playing card? Well, it wouldn't matter if that's glued down because we still have this. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we can tear this off. All right, all right, all right, all right. Tear this off. Then we gotta kind of roll our paper to get it back to semi-flat. Okay, all right. So now, I would rather not have the hand. Cause then I think it looks weird. <laughs> it looks weirder to have a cat with a people hand. than to have a people with a cat head. Okay, let's see. We can come right along this line. See, we got that nice thing going there. We got this guy here. I just want that to come in a tiny bit. And if we go down to where there's no hand, I kind of want it right there. That's, that's where it's gonna be. So, I can do a number of different things, right? I can. Because, see, I think if I get it down to here, what if happens if I get down to there? Nope. We're going to jury rig it. All right. I want my cat right about there. Or we could do it. No. No. Okay. This is the way it's going to go. All right. So, we are going to get a paintbrush. Uh-oh. This one has been used for Mod Podge before because it's really stiff. But that's okay. I'm going to want a little tiny bit of that to come up, right?
All right. There we go. Now, I will say that with um, magazine pages, if you put Mod Podge anywhere, you want to put it everywhere because it may discolor it. And so you want to, um, to make sure it's all discolored the same way. And then what you can do is if you mind, if you mind wrinkles, you can kind of pull them out a little bit. And functionally, what you're doing is you are flattening your picture on there. And I have a big wrinkle down the middle, which I'm totally fine with. And now let's put our cat head on. And I wasn't sure about the glasses, but I'm definitely going to use the glasses. All right. All right, so he's in there good. And then where's our glasses? Is good. Do we have? There we go. All right, so we have that. I like that. All right, now we have this that's going to go down here, but I kind of want this to be a super top layer. Um, like him to jump out. This is going to be just a cool cat back here. So we have all kinds of stuff to put on here. So we have together. Are we going to put this at the very, very bottom? We could put it at the very bottom and get rid of my arm problem. But I kind of want that to be on here. All right? Stop sticking. And then we need this to be shorter, so we're going to cut this in half. Okay, so those are going to go there. And then... So I could use the the bottoms at the top. I could use the tops of the bottles. I could use all of the bottles. I could use none of the bottles. I don't know. I feel like... I almost feel like they're a little distracting. Ooh, what if we made them sort of a... Nah. I feel like I'm trying too hard. We're not going to use those for now. Those are going to go in our pile of stuff. Okay, so... I feel like now what we need to do, do we want this to be on there? No, I want him out here. I love him. Okay, so we have this. Um, okay, so let's just start making some marks. I'm going to just put a little bit of water down here because I want this to be super light. I've got a skinnier brush.
So now I do feel like I need something repetitive going on since we don't have that thing. So how about if we do... Some lines over here. All right, so that's repetitive. I like that. All right, we'll anchor this corner with pink because we've got those corners anchored with green. Okay. Okay, don't worry if it doesn't look perfect now. We haven't done anything to make it look perfect, right? Um... Okay, we're going to do this now. And kind of outline our cool cat. Not exactly outline him, her. Just a teeny bit. The nice thing about Mod Podging between layers is you can keep your stuff clean because it'll just wipe off. It's got a uh, 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 isolation layer, that's it. Okay, so we went a little bit there. Break this up. Okay. So we got some stuff going on over here. I feel like I'm missing something up in here. And I don't think it's green. Okay, now I have stripes in all the colors somewhere, right? Okay. All right, and I'm fine with nothing up there because we've got a, got a lot going on.
just outlining my green outline with a little bit of orange outline. I just don't want it to be too distracting around her. There we go, I like that. I don't want to get it too much up there because I already have orange. So let's do this. We'll come in from that orange. Okay, I like that. All right, so now we're going to have to let this dry. Okay. So, in the meantime, let's get our love card and let's do some stuff to it. So, first off, I think I'm going to focus, oh, this stuff is like, like, glue. You, can see, you can't see anything through it. So, let's do this. Because this is going to be our tag card, right? Oh, look, that matches up perfectly. Yay. All right. I'm almost wondering... All right, I'm gonna do it. So it's gonna say up there, we're all in this. And then look, together turns into to get her. Okay, so now, cause this is like orangish red, get out of the paint. I, I'm going to, that's fun. I'm going to use a lot of the green and orange, or the green and pink over here. And less of the orange, because I want it to contrast, right? I'm going to use way more of the green, a little bit of the pink, and then some of the orange. All right, water. Okay, so I think this is enough on this for now to let it dry. Maybe I can do some orange stripes. We'll try it. dry we're going to come back in a little bit okay so let's get this edge off here
And I kind of love what's going on with this little card. I like that the eight is still there. Okay. And we still got a spot. Okay. So now let's... So one of the things I could use was the Sharpie, right? Because on my list of things is magic markers. So one of the ways that you can make a, um, a collage like this seem like it's cohesive is to outline around it. And see, I lost a little bit of the corner of my cat's eye. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of draw that in. Now... I had to draw that in, and I might just do the other corner just to make it equal. Um, I had to draw that in, but think about it. When you're doing magazine collage, a lot of times something will be missing. And right now, it's jumping out at us, but pretty soon, it, you, you won't even notice it. So I'm just going to go all the way around here with a Sharpie, and I'll speed it up for you so you don't have to, uh, to watch it slow. Okay, so there you can already see we're starting to, it's, it's, it kind of pulls it all together. Now, I was wondering if I would want to do it with this fine line or a fatter pen. And I definitely want to use the fatter pen, which is just your normal Sharpie. So I'm going to do it again. I'm not going to even fast forward. I'm just going to jump till we're done. Okay, so the one thing I want to do is I want to make these glasses even more pronounced. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of make them even more cat size glasses. All right, that's cool. All right, she's starting to feel more like a real, real cat. Now I do think, huh, I don't know yet. I want to, I want to do something with this transition right here and I might go in with the skinny one. I don't know yet, or I might do nothing and just leave it that way. We don't know yet. I might put something, Oh, I could put, we're all, a lot of times I'll cheat that way. In this, right? And then we have our to get her, <laughs> to get her, get it? No, all right, never mind, sorry. Too corny. Okay, so what do we think? What do we think? I think part, oh, here, let's put our guy over here. Okay, that's gonna help us. But I think part of the thing is we need more stuff going on. Okay, so I am going to... Okay, so I really like to have a white line with black around it. So I am not gonna assume that you guys have a white paint marker. And I think this will help us. Uh, uh, this one wasn't upside down, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Shake your paints, people. Okay. And this is a slightly pointy brush. And what I wanna do is I just wanna take, and I'm just gonna brace my arm over here. And I just wanna make a white line. Okay, 
So that's there. I definitely want it to come over this way. Oops. Maybe not. Hold on. Let's get our guy. Okay, he's going to kind of hang in there. So maybe not over there. Maybe we will do it up here. Okay. I don't really want it running into her either. All right, maybe that, oh, we can do one down here. So we're just going to come and we're going to kind of tiny bit camouflage this line where the bottom of the tuck bucket is. And do not worry if your line is uneven because we got, gosh darn it. Don't rub in your paint. Okay, so we have that. We have that. All right, while we have white out and kind of a pointy brush, let's do some dots. I am never mad to have dots, so I'm going to put dots over here, too. That, that isn't very dotty, is it? The more paint you have on there, the rounder your dot will be, and the less pressure you put on it. But don't worry. Don't fret. Never fret. Okay. So we got some dots going on there. I think I want a few dots up here. Let's see. How about in between these? go. All right. Perfect. All right. So now I feel like I feel like we need to get something else in here. Not hmm. this. Is that too, well, I like that it has the green because I'm kind of thinking I would like this, where's my wear all, there we go, to be on a little background. What do you think? Oh yeah. Just like a wee frame for it. Okay, and I'm going to use this, this screen down here, or should I use this part? Let's see. What do we think? We got that. That doesn't suck. Kind of like down here better. Okay. All right. All right, I don't like the little extra tail, so we're gonna take the little extra tail off. And I think I cut this a tiny bit wonky. Okay, 
We're all in this. Oh, look how cute he looks. I love it. Okay, so we're getting somewhere, right? This is starting to look good. Well, I think I got paint on my head, darn it. Okay. You could have told me I was getting paint all over my paintbrush, too. I'm a mess here. All right. Obviously, my paint is getting out of control. Let's, let's rein this in, kids. All right. So, all right, let's do our thing, because this, I think, is dry. Nope, that's not dry. All right, well, we're going to have to come back, because I need some of this paint to be dry. Oh, you know one more thing we can do? Now nah, we'll wait till the paint's dry. Be patient. Okay, so now I want to make kind of an outline around the cat. And what I'm going to do, usually I would use a, a special pencil that um, is water activated, but you can do this with acrylic paint and just some water. And we're going to make it really, really thin, right? Like super thin and just go all the way around the cat over and over, little light coats just to highlight her. And I'm also going to go around the um the line on the right hand side so i'm going to speed this up so you can see what i'm doing but you don't have to wait around Okay, I cheated on you while you were gone, and I put some washi tape in the three colors we're using. So you'll see I did blue, orange, and pink washi tape, and now I am going over the edges of the, um, the white. Remember, we made the white line. I'm going over the edges with the fatter Sharpie. And what I'm going to do is on all of them, I'm going to come down and make little squares because that's one of the things I like to have in my artwork is the little squares. Usually I would do it with um, Posca pens, black Posca pens, but this worked out perfectly and I'll let you watch me do this too. Now, the next thing I wanted to do, I did glue the words onto the little pieces of background paper, and I used a um, glue stick for that, and now I'm just going to go ahead and use the Mod Podge to put, to stick those on, and I really, I really wondered be, about doing it with, um, like, putting it over that that what I consider to be a little bit of weird transition between the cat's head and not the cat's head. But honestly, nobody else would know that that's what's there. So I just decided to leave it. And of course, since this is something that's um, like going on top of all those layers, I want to make sure to get it nice and stuck down with the Mod Podge. This is, you know, like a top layer. Um, 
so of course I want to make sure that it's really stuck on well and then I did while you were gone um, I was actually watching a webinar a marketing webinar with one of my favorite marketers while I was working on this and I didn't want you to miss doing all this but I did um, want to get a chance to craft and it was unfortunately without you so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, stick these on. I did put a little um, underline of that same red paper here, and I'll be back in one sec. Okay, those are all stuck on, and I'm putting a nice layer of Mod Podge over here. I think that card, um, I was super excited at how well that turned out. You can still see a little titch of the eight in the heart but mostly it just turned out so well that I can slide it into that little tuck spot and just have it fun there to use now one thing I did want to do because this was supposed to be something that anybody could do was I decided to make those um, little uh, stencils that you see there with the white using just index cards that I cut little pieces of and then I used a, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, hole punch to cut out little random bits and the thing is, see I'm showing you how I did it, it's just a normal hole punch that anybody should have and I didn't make them perfect because I didn't want them to be perfect and then now we're going to go over here with some pink and I did corners of pink and little layers of pink and then um, layers of other colors and you'll see how this goes on it's just using this little you know paper stencil a stencil can be made out of anything so that's no big deal and then uh, I'll go ahead and finish this up and then you'll be able to see how I finish up the whole project I think we're going to call this done. Um, I could probably do some doodling. I, I'll, I'll probably like work on this sometime when I'm just looking for something to do in my craft journal. And this is my craft journal. So like for this one, I had um, just this background and then I with the with the this and then I doodled around it. Um, there's our neutral backgrounds pages. There's one of the other ones I have. You can see I have just little backgrounds. This is called a disc planner. Um, and I have a little disc thingy. And so what I will do is I will just put this here. This way I don't have art pages all over the house, right? And yes, this is a cool little art page, but you and I both know that there's a little secret in here. We're all in this to get her. How fun is that? All right, so hopefully that helped with the 
easy peasy acrylics and washi tape and magazine collage how to make an art journal page.